Hello everybody, this is Jeff Manning with Team Real and the Blues. If you're a subscriber to my channel or if you frequent by my channel, you've seen that the other day I've done a video on how to replace the drag washers in a 6500. During the shoot of the video, there was one thing I forgot to mention, so I decided I'd just bring it up in this video. And if you haven't seen the video, just take a look and you should be able to see it on my channel. Hopefully it'll pop up right here. Now, what I didn't mention was if you just got done putting brand new drag washers in this particular reel, if you want to save them, if you want them to last a lot longer, one quick tip that I can give you is just remember when you get done fishing at the end of the day, back this drag washer up. I keep mine pretty tight, but just back it up. What that does, it takes all the pressure off of your drag washers because they will get compressed. And once they get compressed, they'll start forming to that compression. So you start to lose some of your adjustment right here. If you'll back them up every time you get done fishing, those drag washers will be just strong and they'll last twice as long. Now, when you back them up, don't back them up completely to where this thing a free spool because there's nothing, nothing that will aggravate you more than to get to a tournament at four o'clock in the morning and not have one but two reels with no line because it was free spooling going down the highway. True story, just an FYI. All right, I hope you got something out of this quick tip, and stay tuned. There's another video talking about how much drag I was able to get on these reels. Thank you for watching. If you're not a subscriber, subscribe. Thank you very much. And if you have any comments, leave them. I appreciate it.